What up, my people, my people? Let's start off. And for those of you who want my original one. All right, folks, Pitching Against the 88, we are back. We're going to be heading on to case number 11. Let's unlock this. Because I've heard some people don't like me mixing it up. So I listen. Financial Center. All right, let's see. So I'll see you guys back here when I grab a couple friends. All right, found some friends. Let's head on to this next case. Or Marconi very well could be the murderer. I keep thinking they're leading to it. Ace, reports are in that the Viper gang leader Salvador Cordero has been murdered. Wow, we don't know much other than it happened at the Viper's headquarters. That CD garage they like to call the Viper's Pit. And I've just got a call from Howard Johnson, the city's mayor. He seems to have taken a special interest in this case, so you better not disappoint. Wow, Salvador is dead and the mayor's watching? Sergeant Ace, this could very well be our biggest case yet. Well, I know it finishes off this little section. Into the Viper's Nest. All right, I'm a little bit excited about this one. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty stoked to see uh, what's going to happen. I mean, we've had this guy happen a couple of times. This is, looks pretty cool. Okay, wine bottle, medicine canister. What is that? I don't even know. Sometimes I don't even know what they look like. Okay, so that's that one. Apple. I know what an apple looks like. I don't know where the apple is, but I know what it looks like. Paper ball. That's that. I just need to know where that apple is. Apple, apple, apple. Let's see, is it a red apple or is it a green apple? That makes a difference. Oh, there it is. Is this the wine bottle? Yep. Apple. Torn card. victim's body and of course medicine canister sweet oh my gosh lots of clues Ooh, I'm excited this could very well be one where I need a whole heck of a lot of stars kind of excited not gonna lie Ooh, a lot of people want Salvador dead. Judging from all the gore, it looks like they killed him a thousand times over. Actually, I can't even tell what's blood and what's spilled oil. I don't know what to make of this medicine canister, but let's send it back to the lab and see if they can make sense of it. And how about this torn card, Ace? You're the expert at this. Think you can put it back together? Uh, heck yeah, I think I can. So, ooh, so a three hour one. Uh, nope, we're not going to open it. We're going to autopsy as well. Open the canister. Cool. So I'll be checking back here in three hours. Hopefully get a couple more stars. We can, can we can go fat. We can get further in this game. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. See you guys later. Over and out. So what up? Let's finish some of the medicine canister. It's an asthma canister. I ran it serial number through the database hoping for a lead, but it was a dead end. Which means the medicine was bought illegally, either because it's cheaper or because the user wants to keep it a secret. Interesting. So it could be anybody's? I asked Nathan to check Salvador's lungs. They showed no signs of the condition. Which means that the person who does have asthma is your killer. Interesting. Well, let's figure out how he died. Salvador's skull is broken right open. Such a brutal murder means the killer must have been furious with him. I found a large amount of glass fragments stuck inside his head, so I'm assuming the killer used a glass bottle. I'm thinking the motive for the murder might have been about honor. I say this because the killer spat on Cordero's corpse. But, and you're going to love this, in doing so they also spat out their gum. Which means that your, chew or your killer chews gum idiot. I mean, good for us, but what an idiot. Let's examine this torn card, because I'm assuming it'll give us Marconi's place. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm going to guess. Yep, I believe so. I believe I was right.
Blue Flamingo, Final Warning, El Salvador. From Tony, Mar Tony Marconi's club. Ha, huh, how am I not surprised? And there's a message written on it, Final Warning. Obviously, Salvador didn't take the threat seriously. It's obvious Marconi's involved. Ace, maybe we'll get lucky and finally catch the guy. Eh, we'll see. We'll see if it, if it wraps up this storyline or if we have even more. Let's go talk to Marconi. Plenty of clients come to the Blue Flamingo and take the club's card. That's what they're here for, to be taken. Don't keep acting so innocent, Marconi. It doesn't so suit you. You know what? That scumbag Troy Cassidy was in here last night. Why don't you go bother him for a change? And in case you weren't smart enough to catch on, Jones, that was a rhetorical question. I hate to admit it, but Marconi's got a point. We should go talk to Troy. If we've learned anything from the from that gang case we cracked, it's that El Salvador hated Troy. And as leader of the Skulls, Troy definitely had a strong motive for wanting Salvador dead. As for Marconi, he can shout all he wants, but we're still searching his club. Heck yeah, we are. And I have stars in which to search it for, so... Yeah, I was chilling with the Blue Flamingo last night, so what? You think I killed Salvador? So maybe he was my rival, but I preferred to deal with a darn tootin' like Salvador than with someone who, with more brains. Besides, I hadn't seen him in a while. We had nothing to talk about. And I definitely had nothing to gain from his death. Well, what's with that oil stain on your clothes? What's that got to do with anything? I'm fixing up my bike, and I'd like to get it back. Or, I'd like to get back to it, so leave me alone. Yeah, I mean, you could have made that it had something to do with with that, but I, I don't see how that could be the case. Huh, Marconi's redecorated the whole club. Now it's official. The man has no taste at all. Convenient. He redid it so that, you know, I could look through it and be different. Oh, he definitely did a little bit. It's funky. I like it. Clapper board. I see where that is. Daisy. I see where the daisy is. Camera. Pile of clothes. Teddy bear. Where's the f teddy bear? Oh, I see where the teddy bear is. Disco man. Oh, I see where disco man. Disco man. Teddy bear. Clapperboard. Pile of clothes. Daisy. Camera. This meant to be our, a club or garage. All those oil stains on that pile of clothes are giving me doubts. I agree, Ace. We should definitely search through those clothes. I thought we were gonna examine them, but sure. If you wanna, if you wanna look through them, go right ahead. I'm not gonna say no. Just like the one from the Vibers, but now we've got Marconi now. we got nothing on me. That screwdriver isn't mine. Ooh, he's got an oil stain, too. Oh, yeah? It's in your club. So if it's not yours, whose is it? That screwdriver's mine, Jones. Ginger, what are you doing here? Oh, great. She's going to be covering for that lying sack of crap. It's not cool. Jenji, you better be able to explain to us what you're doing with this screwdriver. Not everyone is as sweet as, as Ace and you, Jones. A girl needs protection, and I guarantee you, with this tool, nobody screws me around. Please tell me you didn't take the screwdriver from Salvador's headquarters. Of course not. Salvador scared me, so I stayed well away from him in his seedy garage. Plus, all that dust in there would have brought on my asthma. I'm sorry I can't be of much more help. And go easy on Marconi, Jones. He ain't all bad, at least not to women. She's covering for him. How can you not see it, guys? If I didn't know any ginger any better, I would say she's acting highly suspicious. 
How could she possibly lie with those eyes? Jones, you make me rethink the fact that I am on the force, seriously. But anyways, guys, that ends chapter one. Stay tuned for chapter two. Pretty excited. See you guys in a little bit. Over and out.